My name is Dr Tony Smith. I'm the Medical Director for St John and I'm going to talk to you about how to do CPR and how to use an AED, also known as a defibrillator. CPR is the method of pumping blood around a person's body by pushing on their chest and blowing in their mouth when they have suffered from a cardiac arrest, which simply means that their heart has stopped beating. Medical conditions such as a heart attack can cause the heart to stop beating, but other causes include drowning and electric shock. When cardiac arrest happens, the person becomes unconscious and they stop breathing. And when that happens, they need CPR to help save their life. CPR is easy to learn, it's easy to do, and it saves lives. Every day in New Zealand, somewhere between three and four people will need CPR in order to help save their lives. If a person suffers a cardiac arrest, make sure an ambulance has been called, put them flat on their back and start CPR. Using a defibrillator, if there is one nearby, will substantially increase their chance of survival. AED stands for Automated External Defibrillator. It's a portable emergency defibrillator. A defibrillator is a device which supplies a safe electric shock in order to restart a heart which has stopped beating. If a person in cardiac arrest receives a shock from a defibrillator prior to an ambulance arriving, their chances of surviving are much, much higher. AEDs are most useful where large numbers of people get together and there is now an AED at your local ASB branch. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to do CPR and use an AED on a child. Before you do anything, make sure that an ambulance has been called and nobody is in danger. You are then going to push on the chest and blow in the mouth. You push on the chest 30 times and you blow in the mouth twice. Remember this, 30 to 2, no matter who. Now, let's have a go. We're often asked about CPR in children, is there any difference? And the answer is no. The principles of CPR in children are exactly the same as the principles of CPR in adults. We still push on the chest 30 times, and we still blow in the mouth twice, 30 to 2, no matter who. The only difference is that in children, their chest is smaller. And so if you were doing CPR on a five-year-old child, you would push on the chest using one hand. And if you were doing CPR on a teenager, you would push on the chest using two hands. To push on the chest, put one hand in the middle of the chest with your shoulders over the patient and keep your arm straight. We're going to push hard and push fast 30 times. Eight, 29, 30. Now blow twice in the mouth. Tilt the head, pinch the nose, and blow twice. Back on the chest, 30 times. 28, 29, 30. Remember, 30 to two, no matter who. Push hard and push fast. Keep doing this until the ambulance arrives. If you don't know how fast to push, you need to push at 100 a minute, and the beat of the Bee Gees song, Staying Alive, is exactly 100 a minute. So get that song in your mind. If you don't want to do the mouth to mouth, or you can't do the mouth to mouth, it's okay to just do the chest compressions, because some CPR is better than no CPR at all. If there is an AED nearby, this could increase the patient's chance of surviving by up to 40%. AEDs are designed for people who have no prior medical knowledge and use simple voice instructions so that anyone can use the AED safely and effectively. Today I'm going to demonstrate using a Philips HeartStart AED, noting that the principles of using an AED are the same no matter what the brand is. The most important thing is to keep calm and follow the voice instructions. Begin by turning on the AED. Begin by removing all clothing from the patient's chest. Cut clothing if needed. 
When patient's chest is bare, remove protective cover and take out white adhesive pads. Look carefully at the pictures on the white adhesive pads. Peel one pad from the yellow plastic liner. Place pad exactly as shown in the picture. Press firmly to patient's bare skin. When the first pad is in place, look carefully at the picture on the second pad. Peel the second pad from the yellow plastic liner. Place pad exactly as shown in the picture. Press firmly to patient's bare skin. No one should touch the patient. Analyzing. Shock advised. Stay clear of patient. Press the flashing orange button now. Deliver shock now. Shock delivered. Be sure the ambulance service has been called. It is safe to touch the patient. Start CPR. For help with CPR, press the flashing blue button. So that's how you do CPR and use an AED on a child. Remember, it's easy to learn. It's easy to do. And with it, you could save a life. In the highly unlikely event that the child was an infant, the only thing you would do differently is to place one pad on the front and one pad on the back. Everything else would be exactly the same.